What's up, vibrant people? My name is Kishana, and I just wanted to come on here and just share a quick word with you um, based on a revelation that I experienced this week. Um, well, actually, last week. <laughs> um, so I wanted to just come on here and encourage someone who may be seeking the same answers that I was looking for um, during this period. So I'm just going to read a short scripture. Um, I'm going to be coming to you from Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, verses 11 to 14. Um, and chapter 30, it is really what God used to speak to my, my situation. But I feel like those one, two, three, four verses are very important. Um, so again, Jeremiah 29, 11 to 14. And it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will, and I will be found of you, said the Lord. And I will turn you, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, said the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. So the verse that spoke to me was verse thirteen, and it says, "And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart." So what happened was um, I was in a place where I, I felt so distant from God. I felt like the relationship that I had before with him um, was not the same. Where when I was going through my, my various struggles, I felt that peace because I, I could hear, I, I was directly hearing from God. And when everything became, when everything went back to normal again, it's like all of that changed. Whereas I, I have my ministry and, um, you know, I strive to provide content uh, and encouraging words um, every, at least every two weeks. However, I was getting no inspiration at all. I was asking God, what do you want me to say? And it was just nothing, it was just silence. And it was never like that. So I was very confused. I was wondering if I if I did something or um, if I'm being shunned. <laughs> and this that verse came to me that if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. And that's that I feel like that's where a lot of us, especially as content creators and entrepreneurs, where we fall short. Um, we seek God enough to get to get by. You know, we, we don't seek him with everything that's within us. Um, for example, like I'll spend time with God so that I can get a, a, a prophetic word that I can share for my content but i won't spend time with god to get to know him to get to know his nature it's almost like i was a i was selfish and i really i was selfish with my relationship with god where it was just one-sided i would only spend time with him when i needed to be filled to do praise and worship or i needed to be filled to um speak to a client or I needed to be filled to share a word on Instagram, but I was not seeking him for myself. I wasn't seeking him to know him. I was seeking him for what he can, what he, he provides for my ministry. So I'm here to warn someone else who may have fallen into that trap. And it doesn't happen intentionally. It does not happen intentionally, but 
when we get so caught up in our ministries, in our various ministries, we tend to treat God like, like he's an advisor and that's it. <laughs> Whereas we only spend time with him, we only talk to him when we need advice on what to do with our ministry. And it's almost like our ministries become idols when the focus should be on the person that the ministry is about, which is God, which is God. So if you are at a place where you are a content creator or you're an entrepreneur, or just just a, a child of God and you feel like there's a distance between you and God, maybe, just maybe God is calling you to intentionally seek him. Maybe God is calling you to intentionally get to know him as a friend, as a father. Maybe God is calling you to go deeper in him, not deeper in your ministry, not deeper in your purpose, but deeper in him as the creator, deeper in him as the savior, deeper in him as the protector, the healer, his nature, just worshiping him and getting to know him just because of your reverence for him, not because of what he can do for you, not because of the season that you need him for, but because he is God and he is worthy to be praised. He deserves all the glory. He deserves everything that we have. And he is the reason why we have everything that we have. So I feel like God is, is calling people, especially now, where it's so easy to get caught up in social media. It's so easy to get caught up in um, becoming financially free and the prosperity gospel is rampant out here. I feel like God is calling people back to square one, back to the foundation, the foundation of seeking him because he's God, seeking him because he's worthy to be, to be sook. <laughs> I think that's the word, but seeking him just for who he is, not for what he can do for you. So again, I just want to encourage you. I just want to encourage you to dig deeper in God. Dig deeper in your faith. It's just like getting a new phone. When you get that new phone, you know, you spend time to go through those apps, to personalize it, to go through the settings, and to learn all the new features and the new effects. Where if someone should ask you to show them something on the, the smartphone, you'd be able to quickly just zoom through it without even having to put mental strength or mental thought into that process. Some of us are even so versed where we don't even have to look on the phone. We can just, you know, do what we need to do and focus on something else. <laughs> but I feel like God is calling us to the same level, the same level of dedication, the same level of intentionality where if someone should ask us about him, we'd be able to answer like this. Ask us questions like, why did God wipe out a nation? Why does God come off as emotional sometimes? A lot of us, we're not able to answer those questions, those simple questions about God's nature and why he does what he does. How are you worshiping someone that you don't, where you don't know who he is? How are you worshiping someone where you don't know how he works, how he operates. How are you worshiping someone where you don't have reverence for him? Are you really truly worshiping God when you're okay with just putting God to the back burner or putting him to the side when you don't need him and then picking him back up when, when he's needed? Is that true worship? I don't think so. And again, it's not that we don't spend time with God, but it's more of why are you spending time with God? Are you spending time with him because you need something? Or are you spending time with him because he's God? And I think that's that's essentially what God wants us to, to get. Schedule time at least once per day. Once per day is the least, it's the least because we spend 
time on so many other things. Turn off the Netflix. Turn off the, the Hulu. And dedicate more time to get in to know the God that you serve. Dedicate more time to get in to know the power that God has placed in you. Dedicate your time to get in to know who God is, his nature, his promises, his actions, his history. Why he does what he does. So again, I just want to encourage you to dig, dig a little bit deeper. Dig deeper. He said, if you seek him, you will find him. If you intentionally seek him and seek the word seek is very important because I said this in my book. The difference between the word seek and finding is that when you use the word seek, it's just knowing that what you're looking for is already accessible to you. So as you seek him, which means looking for him until you find him and never stopping, he will open up your eyes to know more about him, which will eventually open your eyes to know more about yourself. So yeah.